What is Battle Ready? Battle Ready, the whole name is actually Battle Ready Mobile Ministries. And it was born out of a desire that I have in my heart to build up the kingdom. Honestly, I would have to say that the apple does not fall far from the tree because my pastor, Pastor Jesse Frazier, in the church that I go to, Ebenezer Missionary Baptist Church, he has a heart for street evangelism, for getting out into the street and sharing the gospel of salvation with this lost and dying world. And I have been under his leadership since my 19-year-old was about six months old. And so now I have a strong desire to get out there where people are that will never set foot in the church to bring them the message of the gospel and to build up the kingdom. And Battle Ready was what came to my heart because of the spiritual warfare um, that is holding these people back from hearing the message. And oftentimes even holding people that know the gospel and that have a relationship with the Lord from going because of a fear. But God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. And so um, when you look at Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 18, it talks about how we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of the darkness, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. So when somebody is um, combative or resistant or hostile, it's not that person, it's the spirit behind them. So we have to go out spirit-filled, prayed up, studied up, so that we can really fight the real battle with that spirit that is holding that person back from salvation. And um, then I also look at 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 3 through 5, where it says, Though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. So with those two scriptures, specifically Ephesians 6, 10 through 18, um, what we say is, with the armor of God, we are battle ready. So I have been praying for a long time um, that God would use me, um, not because I'm anybody special, but just because I really just wanted to do more for him, to bring him glory, to build up the kingdom. So I've been praying for a long time for God to expand this ministry, to increase this ministry for his glory, of course. And I kind of backed away from it a little bit because I just oftentimes just being human feel very inadequate because there's a lot of people out there that are, honestly, I just feel like are better than me when it, and, and more capable than me to do these things. But we know that God uses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. So I had to get that out of my head and recognize that he can use me in the same way he uses anybody else, um, however he chooses to use me. So I just wanted to submit fully to that. So I started praying again recently. And two days after I prayed, because I specifically was praying for a 15-passenger van, and two days after that prayer, a friend of mine who was moving their school from one location to another was selling their 15 passenger van and they were selling it for $1,500. And I just knew that was an answer to prayer. So I reached out to my husband and I told him about it. And I said, this is an answer to prayer. This is what I've been praying for God to provide for Battle Ready so that we can go out and meet the people where they are. And probably within two days, we purchased that van. It is um, a 2003 Ford. Um, it has 150,000 miles on it, I believe, but it's actually in really good shape. There are minor repairs that are needed, but um, God is faithful, and that was truly an answer to prayer. Though it is a 15 passenger van, we will be taking out the back seat so that we can put supplies in there because when we go out, we want to be able to feed people, get them a sandwich and some cookies and a bottle of water or something. And most importantly, share the gospel with them and give them a Bible. 
We want to be able to have that available to be able to give that to the people and then pray for them and sing to them. So we're also looking to eventually get our own sound equipment because this is my dream. This is what I want to do for God because the harvest is plenty, but the workers are few. And I just can't keep to myself what he did for me. If not for God, I wouldn't be here. And so I can't keep that to myself. I have to share the good news. What we need, what we need, like-minded people that will pray for us, first and foremost, because it really is spiritual warfare. You come up against a lot of demonic things, demonic attacks. And I'm not fearful because I know that God gave us, he did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. But just fasting, praying, Bible-believing people that will pray for us. But we also need um, donations. We are working to, to establish our 501c3. We're currently under the leadership covering of my pastor and our church, but we're looking to be independent when it comes to being able to self-sustain. And we're needing donations to help us to be able to get loaves of bread and, and um, lunch meat and cookies and juice and water so that when we go out, we'll be able to feed, uh, feed the people and then even donations of Bibles so that we can provide the people with the word of God. Um, as we share the gospel with them and also tracks and, and things like that. And like I said earlier that we are looking to get our own sound equipment because we do want to be able to be heard in the communities that we go to because we don't want to just share the gospel. We also want to sing and encourage because that's what prepares the heart of the people to hear God's word, God's message. So we want to be able to do all of those things. And of course, the minor maintenance with our van so we're not asking for a lot from anybody. We're asking for a little bit from, from as many that would be willing. And since we don't have our 501c3, I understand um, not everybody will be comfortable with making a donation. But those of you that know me, that know my heart, that are friends and family and fellow believers, if you have it in your heart, if you're willing to donate um, so that we would be able to get those items or even donate Bibles directly, just donate Bibles donate a couple of loaves of bread, um, oranges, cookies. Um, if you are willing to donate money, that would be greatly appreciated. It's all going to go towards this ministry. How can you get a hold to me? Well, I do have a Facebook page. I go by Nada Sin Jesus on my Facebook page that means nothing without Jesus because that's truly who and what I am so you can inbox me there um, we do have a cash app if you are comfortable with making a monetary donation our cash app is battle ready it is spelled differently it's spelled b-a-t-t-l-e-r-e-d-d-y so if you want to make a donation monetarily to us then you can dollar sign battle ready to our cash app but other than that you can inbox me and we can make the arrangements to get any other donations if you have bibles if you have a couple of loaves of bread and some oranges cookies a case of water if you want to do those things we'd be so grateful for that and um we'll definitely document the times that we go out not because we want to be like look at us look at what we're doing but we would just want to be accountable to the work that we're going to be doing and we want people to be praying um for us as we go because god said go okay so i guess i haven't really talked too much about myself <clears throat> my real name is terry harrison <laughs> um i'm a wife uh, my husband and i have been together for 19 years we've actually been together for 20 years married for 19 years we have one heck of a testimony and um, I have made a video about that not the entire testimony but just a portion of that testimony I have made a video about that 
So I'd be happy to share that with it in the comments. But we've been married for 19 years. I adore my husband. He supports me because I can be a little crazy sometimes. And anybody that knows me knows that. <laughs> but he, he's, he's an awesome man of God and I love him. I wouldn't trade him for the world. I'm also the proud mother of four girls. Two of them um, are girls from my current marriage and then my husband had a daughter before we got married and I had a daughter before we got married. <clears throat> my oldest daughter um, has three children. So I have three beautiful grandbabies. They're the most beautiful grandbabies in the world. Two girls and a boy. And um, I love God. I love God. I, I love God. I just don't even know what else to say. I just know, and I think I've said this before, but I know I wouldn't be here without him. He gave me a new heart. He didn't do it because I deserved it. He did it because he loves me. And I want people to know that he'll do the same for them. So if you would support us through prayer, if you would support us with your donations, if you would support us with monetary donations, if you feel comfortable with that, we would greatly appreciate it. Once again, you can reach me on my Facebook page at Nada Sin Jesus. That's N-A-D-A. Sin Jesus is the last name. That's S-I-N-J-E-S-U-S. -S. Once again, my real name is Terry Harrison. And um, if you want to do a monetary donation, our cash app is dollar sign battle ready. B-A-T-T-L-E R-E-D-D-Y. And that's all I got. I'm grateful for what anybody does. I'm definitely grateful for your prayers because I know what the word says. The prayers of the righteous avails much. God bless you.